This week's Tableau tip comes from something that I learned from Craig Bloodworth, a Zen master and CTO at the Information Lab. If you're curious about all the events that we're running, join this meetup group, Let's Talk Data. Most of the sessions will be in person in our London office of the Data School, but there will be a few that were virtual as well. The meetup I'm referring to was uh, last week, and it was called the Tableau Zen Master Workshop. We're going to be running these throughout the year, and if you're around London, go ahead and sign up and join us. Again, the meetup to join is Let's Talk Data. Okay, with that, here is the tip that I want to share with you. So the idea behind this tip is to be able to show the rank of different dimensions and then show how those dimensions can be filtered without losing the rank. Now that may be a bit confusing, but let me explain to you with an example. So let's say we want to look at sales by region. And I'm just going to build a really simple table. I want, now want to go ahead and include a rank for the sales. So I'm going to create a new calculated field. I'm going to simply call it rank. And it's going to be the rank oops, of the sum of sales. OK. And I'm going to go ahead and make that discrete. I'm going to put that in the rows. And now I'm going to double check and make sure my table calc is set up the way I want. So it's set up table down. So I'm going to go ahead and choose specific dimensions to make sure that that uh, table calculation gets locked in. OK, great. So now what we want to do is we want to be able to filter the regions and maintain the ranks. So for example, if I if I filtered out east and the west, I, I'm sorry, east and the central, I should be left with rank one in the west and rank four in the south. Now, let me show you how this doesn't work. So if I, get an if I go ahead and show the filter for my region, you'll see that everything recalculates based on what's in the view. This is because a region filter, a dimension filter, happens before a table calculation is computed. Okay, so let's remove that filter. Well, what if we wanna filter the ranks? What happens in this case? So if I get rid of rank three and hit okay, you can see I still have one, two, and four. Let me show this filter. And that's great, if I filter out two, I get one and four. But the problem here is that I wanna be able to filter by the region, not by the rank. Okay, so let's get rid of that region filter. So to do that, we're going to create a calculated field, and I'm going to call it my rank filter. <clears throat> and what you want to do here is you want to use a table calculation. So I'm going to do the window min of the attribute oops, of region. Now this works because I only have a single region, uh, only have each region listed once. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this to the filter shelf. And notice how it just says central right now. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. But now what I want to do is I want to compute this using each cell. That means compute it for each region. And now look at my filter. It actually shows each region. So I'm going to go ahead and pick all to start. And now when I show this filter, I can see my regions instead of the individual rank numbers. So if I filter out the east and the south, I can still see the west is one and the central is three. Or if I want to filter out the west and the south, uh, maybe the west and the east, I'm left with central at three and south at four, which is the way that our rank works here. So very simple tip, but very applicable. Now let's expand on this a bit, and let's say that we want to be able to swap out uh, this dimension. So we may want it to be region one time, and then we want it to be by uh, subcategory or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with a parameter. So I'm going to say select a field. And I'll just do a simple example here. And I'm going to, I'm going to put a few values in here. Let's say region, uh, segment, and subcategory. Let's hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and show my parameter. And just to make it easier, I'm going to make it a single value list. 
And now I need to create a calcul calculated field that's going to return the values of that field. So I'm going to call this selected dimension. And I'm going to use the case statement. And I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to do it on my select a field. I'm going to say when it's region. Then I want to return the region field. When it's segment, then I want to return the segment. When it's subcategory, then I want to return the subcategory. End. Okay, I could write that out as a long if statement, but I just prefer case statements. To me, they're a bit simpler. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put this dimension into my uh, re replace my region with that. But now my rank calculation got broken. So let's edit this table calc. And that got broken because we no longer have region in the view. So I'm just going to swap that out for my selected dimension. And there we go. Okay, fantastic. All right. So now we need to swap out our rank filter. So let's edit our rank filter. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that, yeah. And instead of having the attribute of region, we want to have this as our selected dimension. And hit OK. All right. So now when I swap this for segment, notice how my rank filter now changes to segment. I swap it out for subcategory, and now it changes for subcategory, and I can remove things. And then my ranks maintain their original values. So very simple. Um, you could also do the same thing with, uh, you could also create another parameter that allows you to swap out the metric. So uh, the first thing I would probably do is go ahead and change my title on my filter. Oops, where is my edit my title? And I'm going to say, uh, uh, I'm just going to call it filter, something easier. Filter the dimension. Um, or actually, let's make it, I think we can, no, we can't insert a table calc there. So let's say filter dimension. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and do that other table calc like I was talking about. So I'm um, sorry, that other uh, parameter like I was talking about. So let's call this select a measure. And let's make another string. Let's make it a list. Let's do sales, profit, and quantity. Very simple. And let's go ahead and show that measure, show that parameter control. Again, I'm going to make it a single value list just to make it easier for me to select things for this demo. And I need to, so let's call this selected measure. And again, I'm going to do another case statement. I'm going to do select a measure. When it is sales, then sales. When it is profit, then profit. When it is quantity, then quantity. End. Okay. So now I'm going to swap that out here on my text shelf. And now I need to swap it out in my rank as well. So I'm going to edit my rank calculation. And instead of this being sales, I want it to be selected measure. Okay. So if I switch this to profit, you can now see everything is sorted by profit or quantity. Everything is sorted by quantity. And again, as I delete or as I remove items from my filter, all of my ranks are maintained. So hopefully you found that useful. And if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day.